Another batch of 160 Nigerians have been repatriated from Libya. This comes just a week after 155 Nigerians returned from the North African country. The new group is made up of 155 males and 7 females. There are also a few medical cases. They were received at the cargo wing of the Muratala Mohammed International Airport by officials of the UN Agency for Migration, IOM, and the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA. TV360's Oyin Adekunle was there and now reports. Another batch of Nigerian migrants returning from the North African country of Libya. This 160 Nigerians are the latest to be brought back through the efforts of the International Organization for Migration. The IOM has been facilitating the voluntary return of Nigerian migrants who had been trapped in Libya while attempting to cross the Mediterranean Sea to Europe. After disembarking from the plane, the returnees filed out before immigration and port health officials for the necessary processing. But things took a dramatic turn after the majority of them broke into a protest. They refused to be documented except they are addressed by officials. After a brief standoff, the returnees were calmed by an official of the Nigerian Emergency Management Agency who assured them that the government and IOM will take care of their needs. Some of the returnees then take turn to recount their experience in Libya. Yeah, we are the immigrants that came back from Libya. Though it wasn't an easy for we to be in Libya, we suffered a lot. To the extent our fellow Nigerians have been selling us for slave trade. But I so much thank, I so much to go, I so much thank God today that I'm now in Nigeria. I spent a year plus in Libya without achieving anything. You will go to work to an Arab man, and, which is a Libyan man, it won't pay you. It will just beat you up and ask you to leave the house. My brother told me that I should just come. I, I tried to work my visa to Europe. It was unfortunately that I didn't got it. And I had to try my best to enter route. It was unfortunately I was uh, truncated. When I meet truncated, my brother sold me at Libya. When he sold me, they said I should pay $5,000. I should pay $5,000. I said I don't have money. They started beating me, beating me after more time, beating me. They injured me. And there was no money to pay the $5,000. Later, we planned, we planned to escape. When we were planning to escape, my way running, I broke my leg. After I paid the money, there was one man called Kama. He went to keep me in one place. Muscular. All most of us here are, are, are in passenger, and he's a bad man. He collect, after collected all the old money, he went to keep keep us in one place. After keeping us, they now came to Calabush us there. When I meet Calabush, it's an Arab language. They arrested us. I sold my land. I bought a land before. I wanted to build the build the house. Build the house. I sold it. In, in the process of uh, suffering in Libya, and uh, undergoing stress, I sold my land. I got this, this injury from the land of Libya. From one Arab man who forced me to go and help him do a work which I wish not to do. He forced me that, really, that I must follow him to go for robbery. So after the event, his brother Akim, that have the team, began to shoot gun. I was trying to run, so I fell down on top of the building. Then I sustained this injury. I bank on this journey, you no know, Lord, to make to make my life, my future, to be brighter. I wanted to go to Germany. My family were poor, and I have to go and work uh, to make them proud, to lift them up. I'm back, but at least I'm free from suffering that I'm having in Libya. The returnees will now be transported from Lagos to Edo and Delta states, where a large number of them come from. They are also expected to go through the IOM rehabilitation and reintegration program in the coming weeks before they are fully reintegrated into society. Onyi Adekunle, TV360 Lagos, Nigeria.